la 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 It's early on an autumn Sunday. The water is calm, geese are just starting to fly, and the light is pure gold. Creve Corps Lake looks like an instant coffee commercial. All right, walk it down nice and slow. But it's very busy. Pretty steep, go nice and slow. What boat do you race? This is the Washington University Regatta, racing boats with eight and four and two rowers. A coxswain yells commands and encouragement. Once around the lake, 4,000 meters more or less, a long ride, a longer way to row. I mooched a ride on one of the officials' motorboats to watch the races. Our job was to make sure everybody played fair, that nobody cut the corners. Does it ever happen that teams cut the corners? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They do that on purpose or accidentally? Yes. <laughs> we couldn't get too close to the racers because of our wake, but we got close enough to feel and hear the pressure. There's no starting gun, nobody yells go. It's all against the clock, about two and a half miles around the lake. Their time starts when they cross the start line, then they, they log them at the finish line. Gotcha. Go on, go! Finish it out, let's go! Most of the racers are college kids from Wash U, SLU, Mizzou, Illinois, the University of Chicago, and Murray State. College kids. But on the bridge near the boathouse, I found this group of grown-up women watching the early races. And I asked the absolutely wrong question. Now, are you guys Maybe rowing parents, or are you just here to watch the boat? No, we're rowing! Whoa, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> just so you know, no. I'm sorry. She did not flash me, she showed me her rowing uniform. And the women at the bridge, like they said, they are definitely rowers, part of the St. Louis Rowing Club's novice team, all rowing less than a year. The club's teams are the only ones not from a college at this event. These women told me that the youngest member of their crew is 25 and the oldest is substantially over 50, her words. This will be their first race together, true novices. When did you guys start rowing? We started in February. February. <laughs> there was a learn to row class in February. Why? To get fit. We're yeah. Doing something fun and different besides aerobics. <laughs> you were really my first time coxing in does a that, race. Does that put pressure on you? Oh, yeah. Seriously? Oh, yeah, I don't want to let the team down. I want to make sure I give them good encouragement and help them do what they're supposed to do. And did your kids ever say, you're too old? <laughs> They would like to continue living at home and eating for the time. <laughs> their kids have come to watch them row, row, row their boat, and not gently either. Well, actually, my mom started rowing first. She really got me into it. No so, kidding? Yeah. So, so how is it when you're sitting at dinner or in the car or whatever? Oh, um, we talk about rowing all the time. I think my dad gets annoyed by it. The college kids continue to race while the women get their boat ready, and a harsh realization hits. Are you guys racing against kids, Mary? Yep, we sure are. And lower it in smooth. That's the novice team she's cheering for. The hot chicks. Hey, she called him that, not me. It's a home field, home lake, crowd for the SLRC Novice 8, 
and the team finishes like old pros. They didn't beat all the college kids, but they beat some of them, third out of six finishers. And they did what they had to do. We did great. <laughs> they were together, their form was perfect, they were powerful. We did great. You gonna do it again? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when was the last time you saw a coach in any sport literally jump for joy? Or a grown-up kid appreciate her mother's performance as a jock. It's a beautiful thing. A St. Louis thing. For HEC TV, I'm Aaron Mermelstein. La 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 la. Not kidding, guys.